photo belongs a, a, a portrait of Barbara their eldest daughter, which is the one that's on the front In their page. family home, where, do, where are they from? What area are they from? From Brighton. Yeah, but her family home's in Brighton too. That's where her parents are. Yeah, what street, what area? I don't know. It, 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 might, no. it, it might say it in a minute. She's getting the ball back and back. Okay, she's in her late teens, early 20s, and wearing a blue and white polar police jacket, an Aussie style black bucket hat and earrings. Her blue eyes are fixed to the camera and she has a wide smile on her face, which is that one there. We can see the picture. Why are they describing it? Are we blind? Three blind minds. It's hard to rationalise that the seemingly happy young woman in the photo is the same woman person who sat with blackened toes, poking through holes in her socks, surrounded by alcohol boxes, cigarette butts and other rubbish in a shop front on the fringe of a supermarket car park, which is the one at the bottom of the page here. Um, Countdown. These encountered those who encountered Barbara during her short complex life have have described her as a, a riddle and a mystery within a mystery. She was an alcoholic, she was volatile and abusive, she was paranoid and delusional. She was also vivacious, creative, hardworking and deeply uh, spiritual. Lorraine, which is her mother, last spoke to Barbara in July 2020 when she and her other daughter Diane went to the Casual Court Motel in Linwood and handed Barbara a trespass notice. For months Barbara had nice. been calling and texting family members day and night and abusing them. She would swear, call them heartless and evil, say they had abandoned her and blame her for her life and had passed out, panned out. Lorraine and Brian installed a call blocker on the landline. Then Barbara started ringing, going through more drastic action was needed. Hence the visit to the Casual Court Motel, the emergency housing, um, housing that social services had found for Barbara during the first COVID-19 lockdown. Barbara didn't take kindly to having been served with the death by notice. Get out, just go away, she was emerging, emerging from her room and pushing her mother. It breaks my heart to think she was pushed. And that was the last time I talked to her, right? Yes. She just couldn't take it anymore. It was sapping her life. We tried everything to help her. Since their daughter was killed, Lorraine, 67, and Brian, 70, have spent hours picking through possessions they'd she'd hoarded in a storage locker. She had rented for what, $100 per month. Among dozens of empty and piles of photos, hundreds of stolen cigarettes, they found neatly piled photos, medical records, and other documents, all old diaries and scrapbooks, boxes of jewellery, and items given to her <coughs> many years ago, such, such as a 30th birthday card from Diane. The process has stirred memories and made them reflect on whether there's anything they could have done to change. Blah, blah, blah. So go on with another page. Wow, I'll take that and I'll take this one too. You want the copy? Love it. Over there. <clears throat> now this one here is about the thunderstorm. How did you find it? I got um, badly damaged. What happened? Uh, well, in the storage shed coming tomorrow. What, a new storage shed? It's that bad. Sorry? A new storage shed. My garage has laser light broken in it. My, my brand has got heaps of laser light broken. I've got a broken window. Uh, I've got. Oh, you damaged in the laundry. Um, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of damage in the house. See, I've got one whole wall, two meters by two meters, that's made out of. Um, greenhouse plastic and there was only about a 1200 by a meter square of my caravan exposed to where the hail came in hit and it's all dented yet the plastic in front 
of my building was just punched and sort of sprung a little bit. There's no holes. So how you explain that? <clears throat> and also lightning hit inside the caravan and I've got nothing working so that's five thousand dollars worth of solar gone. Have you got insurance? No. Why not? Why is it your business? Because if you had insurance you'd be bloody covered. Hmm.